Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello. Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. <laughs> And I'm Alexis P. Bevels, the P stands for. You sound like you just had congestion. You okay? I have a little bit of congestion. Oh, is that what the P is for? But congestion? No, it's for poltergeist, because we're spooky. Spooky Chris. Yeah, I don't have I don't have COVID, but I do think I have like fall season change. You know what's happening? That everyone's getting the other one. Oh, I love that show. But that is happening, actually. The other one? Yeah, it's a great show. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows. That Not is... the other two. The other one. Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> well, I only pay attention to one of them at a time. There's so much energy. Oh, yeah. it's like you know, I didn't one think energy. I would care about the sister, but I actually do oh, I like love her. her. Yeah. What's... What? I see. It. There's a bag of ruffles over there. What is? What's, what's happening? So you have both forgotten about the diet coke and the ruffles. Remember when we went to? A... But that looks full and un unopened. Yeah, I had two different bags because I thought we were going to be snacking and whatever. But we had been out at Sunday Social, starring Camilla Fox. Starring Camilla Fox, and we got a little drunky. So by the time we yeah. got home, we had sobered up enough to realize we don't need twelve bags of well, chips. Well, by the time we got home, you went directly to sleep. Not true. I watched the first 10 minutes of True Beverly Hills. <laughs> True Beverly Hills, and then you fell asleep. Well, but it was really it. cute. I've seen it a lot. So yeah. I did dream it. I already knew, you know, I was watching it in my head. No, it was good. You know what wasn't good is that you tried to get me to start Jurassic Park when I was in that state. Yeah, and I, I admit, I admit, I that think, was a, ra a bad call. I think this is a bad call. I think I'm going to fall asleep. I think I'm drunk. I want to be, like, soberish when I watch Jurassic Park. You know what you said? Huh. Because I was doing my best periodontist. No. Oh. What are they called? Philodontists? Philodontists. Philodontists. That's why our teeth look like this. You know We've what? Never met if, one. <laughs> I'm too scared. I know. Well, they have so many. Well, pains. you've never seen this because you never you never watched Jurassic Park, but you know apparently or been to an dinosaurs are kind of birds. I knew that. And no, because you've never seen Jurassic Park. There's but no I have way the Discovery you Channel. It. You know how they? You know how you seen Twister? No. You know how in I lived in Tornado Alley. I didn't need to watch it on screen. But you... I've seen tornadoes in real life. But you live in drag and we watch drag every week. Yeah, and I don't watch it. I listen to it. That's why I never know what's going on with the looks. Because I'm always... I, I treat it as a podcast. Mm. Okay? Well, you know but what I still have strong opinions. My ears vary into looks. Like right now, I'm not even looking at you and I could tell you what my ears think. They're thinking... Bailey? <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, I'm kind of evil Bailey. Uh, number one friend of the pod. Number I do one love star. It. When you walked in, you put the wig on, you went, oh. I think I'm accidentally Bailey. And I was like, no, this is on purpose. Bailey is this is on purpose because she's good... been me for Halloween and for other things. So I'm oh, purposefully yeah. Bailey, except she's much more beautiful than me. And she's she's not evil. And I was trying to be evil today. She's a nurse. Speaking of evil. How dare you? Do you yeah. want to know? Well. Okay. <laughs> well. She's a nurse. And where are the prescription pads, Bailey? No. So what you have to do, I learned this in the pandemic. What you have to do is you have to go outside at 7 o'clock every night and you have to bang some <laughs> pots and pans together. Okay. And say, I just need a little Valium just to get through the week. Do you know what I used to ask my mom to do? Because my mom had one parenting tactic and it was the guilt trip. That was our only parenting tactic? Yeah. My dad did spankings. And, Hot. And well, my... you got to warn me. <laughs> You can't just drop that on me. But I used to ask her, I was like, Mom, how about instead of just, like, guilting me for not getting up on time, why don't you just come in with a pot and a pan and, like, bang it so I'll get up? You told her to do that? Yeah. That's I had so one dumb. child parenting tactic, and that was guilting my mom reverse out psychology. of guilt. Reverse Okay. Mm-hmm. Reverse was... oncology. Wait, wait, wait. What's oncology? Cancer. Oh. <laughs> What is reverse cancer, doctor? Not cancer. So, thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the antithesis of cancer, you're absolutely right, is no cancer. I apologize. You're absolutely right. You know what I don't have... You know what I do have questions about? What? Great turns of Dragula. Yes. As series four. Season four. We do seasons in America. Yeah, we do. Episode one. Babes, they're okay. back. It's That's... been a really long time. It really has, and... I'm loving the upgrade. Mm -hmm. You know, this season they had a bigger budget, mm -hmm. as well as now they're on track with Drag Race with a $100,000 prize. And I 
love how they say courtesy of us. us. They just have that lying around. I love that shit because to me, pardon me, okay. Well, I'm sorry, I should do it in a Dragula. Spooky me. I, I do have to say, I think it's, it's to me, pardon me, spooky me, it sounded sort of like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm don't it. don't I'm say it again. Please don't say it a third it. time. I'm not. <laughs> Spooky me. It sounded like kind of a thing, <laughs> like towards RuPaul. Of like she would never actually put her money up for that. No. Which I know is like me projecting, just because you know I'm not on TV. But I was thinking like, ooh, and RuPaul's got the money. I would like if next season Ru was like, and you'll win a hundred thousand dollars with an additional. Hundred dollar tip from me. From me. I'll take a hundred dollars. We're Ooh, back though. We're, we're back. back and what you an know upgrade. what? I don't feel like we've always felt like this, but when it was getting into like the pre-show, the preamble, the little spooky skit at the beginning, I mm -hmm. was like, okay, it was giving me very crucible, very the witch. Have you seen that? It's the witch, but it's spelled with two V's. Why? It's um it's what's her name? Big eyes. Yes. Blonde hair. It's her when she like before she really hit it big. Uh, 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 chess, remember chess? Queen's Gambit. Her. I thought you were talking about Shelley Duvall. What yeah. did you think about their what the Boulets doing their acting? I mean, it looks stunning. We've I'm, reached a point where everything they do it looks amazing. I loved the little masks. Okay. <gasps> that was so fun. Those are real. Like you can buy. Yeah, those. you can buy those. Yeah, I loved that. Yeah, I'd rather not just because. I have my own issues with the shape of my head and to have to take that on. Especially the little one. Can you imagine me trying to put that mask on? Ugh. I'd be hanging out the top and the bottom. Sarah Jessica Parker trying to put on a Cynthia Nixon you... wig. I can't do it. You know I'm not a big fan of the skits. I'm just, I've never really been a big fan of the skits. But they do them very well. Unlike other series. They do them very well. And mm -hmm. this one, spoiler alert, was the first one I can recollect. I, I might be wrong. But where oh. it, it circled back around at the end. They did a whole through line. I loved it. I don't know. I can't remember. Because every time I watched it, I get so scared. I did love the acting of the one girl who was just sitting on her bed, like, mm -hmm. pouting. And, like, looking at her phone and taking forever to, like, look at the... Pa I used to do that when I was little. Like, act... For the for the invisible cameras, like mm -hmm. I would like. <laughs> Why don't you act for wait, wait, wait. invisible camera? I would like fold up a piece of paper and like throw it on the ground and take a walk around the building and then come back and like find it and like you have to like look and then you have to be like, Ooh. and then you have to pick it up, really open it slowly like Willy Wonka vibes. This is why honestly, like you, we've had this conversation before, but I think I know why you've never been kidnapped. I think I wanted it too much. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Ooh. They're like, oh, he's crazy. Too much for me. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, kidnappers have standards. Should we meet these ghouls? Yeah, I need to or move do you have, How was your, I mean, thank how are good. you? Good. Really good. We just got two episodes out of Drag Race. We did, but we did have so a nice, really fun excited. Sunday. Didn't we have a nice, fun Sunday? Yes, we, we went out and saw. Drunkies. What is that? It's just like a spooky landscape. I thought it'd be halloween -y. <gasps> Oh, I have a very similar necklace. It's the exact same necklace, but it's a picture of Danny DeVito dressed as Andy Warhol. Did I really break it? I think I did. Oh, it's just a chain. You can get a new chain. Okay, money bags. Join our Patreon today. That's so sure. Also, the winner gets $100,000 and they get to go on Dragula World Tour. That's gonna be exciting. I know. I'm they so excited. They got fucked up last time, right? Super fucked up. Just like, you know, because of all of their own issues with their families. One of my favorite parts of the opening skit was the dad doing the dishes and then the kid trying to pick up the masks that were just sitting there. He's like, don't touch that. That'll be worth something someday, which was like, LOL, I like that. I like that the boulets were like, make sure that's in there. And so the dad was like, had a sixth sense about it when the kid was just <laughs> near it. And then the dad walked three feet that way and the kid was like opening up the box and like taking, like making noise. And yeah, the dad had those, no those idea. plastic -y masks. Loud. They are loud, honey. Do you remember? Okay, young people, y'all don't know. When we used to go to Target or Walmart or Kmart to get our Halloween costumes, it was a plastic no, sheet. Well, I never did that. Never did well, yeah, you didn't have the money. No, but I did. Custom. It was a plastic sheet. I did custom. And like those kinds of masks. Couture. And that was it. Made by my mom. What's your most couture lovely Halloween costume? Well, I've told this story a million times. Okay, I always... well then it's in. That's how you do. That's part of your brand. So go ahead. 
I would always request something very extravagant and extra, and my mom would make it. And then the day of, I would just wear her pumpkin nightshirt. It was an orange nightshirt that had a pumpkin on it. I love that, though. And it's, yeah. Unrelated. Did you see that TikTok of the guy that was trying to explain to other guys what you do when your girlfriend starts her period in bed and how you clean the sheets for her? I saw the beginning of it and I thought, I don't want to see if this goes disrespectful towards women. So I went away from it. Very respectful, very nice. Oh, really? But how was your mom's nightshirt? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have distracted us. Well, you know my mom had me in an older age. Oh, so you, she thought you were menopause until you popped out. Right, right, right. And so she was like, like oh, I, no. I think she was like 59. And you were born at 30. So now she's 69. 70, 70. She's 70, it's 80. She's 80. And she's a strong, solid 80. Yeah, but she doesn't look a day over 45. No, I don't know how it great. works, but our she genetics, great. honey. Well, her genetics. I'm not sure what's happening. Well, I'm from I sprung. Well, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. I have my doubts. Okay. I have my doubts. So who came, who, what? Uh, first up is Mary Cherry from Brooklyn. What a solid start to the season with Mary Cherry. She is a star. Yeah, she, she is. is a star. Did she you meet really her? Is. She's been to Chicago a few times. I don't think so. I worked with her at Beauty Bar and she was so nice. Beauty Bar. One of the types of people that you meet that is just like so fun and so You joyous can tell. And that, so shady. Yeah. She's a star. Yeah. Shady in the fun way. I loved seeing her go into this haunted house. And but one of my favorite things about Dragula, just in general, is all of the contestants are obviously in on it to a degree. The whole like, where are we? I don't know. Are you scared? I don't want to do this. I'm scared. Yeah. I live for that shit. I she's live. In the van yeah. And they're like, get out here. And she's like, what? Here? This is not what I signed up for. Here? <laughs> That's haunted. And I was like, it's exactly what you signed up for. I love it. Love it. Love it, live it, laugh it. Next up is Astrid Aurelia. Mm. Stunning. She is mm -hmm. the daughter of... Dahlia. Dahlia Black. Yes. Yeah, Astrid Aurelia. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. A name. We've heard of her. Yes. And, sorry to cut back, but Mary Cherry, I just want to say we didn't comment on her look. I loved her little, like, pink. It looked like a, oh. like a broken straight jacket that was all stoned and stuff. Well, she was red. She was red. Colorblind, sorry. Red is her signature color, and well, she looks that's her name. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. Cherry. Up next is La Zavaleta, also from Brooklyn. She was... An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> from the beginning. Well, when she I actually, in, I, I, I was... I, yeah, I thought she was cute. Super impressed. I loved I her look. I thought she was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Loved. And then she just started and never quite stopped. For yeah. me. Pot of me, spooky me. Yeah, and we're, we're going to talk about it later, because... Uh, yeah, Betty had a good quote. I think we both agree on yeah, She's young. And she's trying yeah, to... You know, you're yeah, trying to be on TV, and I don't, I don't know. I wonder... But I can't imagine it's as produced storyline produced as other shows so I wonder if I they're... don't I, I disagree with you it reads to me as very produced so I do feel like maybe she felt mm. like she had to put it on but then it got real weird yeah Coco Kane tits oh tits butt looks tits and ass some would say. uh stunning 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 and such great energy especially following such a negative Nancy is that yeah. her name Nancy? No. Okay, up next is Bitter Betty. Bitter Betty. Former uh, Chicago. Former Chicago queen. Yeah. The Chicago scene was extremely small when we started, and Bitter Betty, at the time, formerly known as Sarah Andrews, mm -hmm. was a huge part of the scene. Yeah, she. I remember her coming here. She would like split her time with here in Florida, mm -hmm. and then and then she started her wig business a red and took Splitting off. Splitting any time between anywhere in Florida, that's a red flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the look. She looked great. She looked great. That I mean, it was kind of look. I love that look. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's a very, on, it's very yeah. knowing her and seeing her kind of, it's very her. Her, and she does her she does all the hair she does some of the belay's hair in the past yeah. it's giving also kind of giving very like mad scientist vibes yeah. let's talk about the elephant in the room basically there was some twitter stuff going around and she was invalidating or at least the perception was she was invalidating people who did not medically transition like they could not be a part of the transgender community or or non or could not people. be on shows representing the trans community without right. yeah and so it hurt a lot of people which was not great. That that did hurt. That did hurt people. And me a little bit. It did feel kind of shitty to be like, okay, well, not welcome. Not welcome here, which is mm. fine. I don't have to be welcome everywhere. I've lived my life as a white dude, so I, I'm fine. But is that did that come off as bad? No, it was 
Uh, it was severely self-aware. She did apologize. I hope that we can show her, and I'm, I know I'm saying this is a cis person, so I know that this is just my, coming from my own privileged state, and my relationship with her, and That's having another thing lo I was how long say. I've known her. We've, we've actually been friendly with her. Like, I was I, at her we, fucking wedding. Why, we went to her wedding, and we've been in her apartment. Like, all of that real life, all I've ever known is kind, wonderful, right. sweet. It's just a very, like you were saying before this, nuanced conversation. It's very nuanced. That I don't think people are ready to have on Twitter. I don't think you can have a nuanced conversation no, on Twitter. and Twitter is so loud. I don't think you could have a nuanced conversation on this video, in these comments. I, get, I don't know. I, it, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very nuanced, it's very uncomfortable, and I just would have loved to have... Should I answer? Hello? Hello? Yes? Hi, my name is Jason, calling you from Energy Advocates. How are you today? Jason. No. Oh. Absolutely not. I don't Maybe advocate he was for Jason, energy. like from um, Halloween or whatever. Oh, Jason from Halloween? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cute. I think that was the universe telling us to move on. Okay. I support you and I love you. And you're valid. I mean, your drag's not valid, but like well, you as a person. That's offensive to Bailey, actually. From Bitter Betty to Jade Jolie. Uh, a uh, new face back. Not a new face. A returning face. On a different network. A returning face. She the the statute of limitations is up, mm -hmm. and she is allowed to be on other shows. I mean, this is kind of fun to see her in a different it's, situation. It's a little and groundbreaking. It's I'm a little groundbreaking. The the cross. Yeah, the crossover event. The crossover event, and just you could tell how she was so excited. A little hint that she was maybe ready to be a part of another franchise, mm -hmm. which She's, we've talked ad nauseum about how some queens that come out of other shows don't feel supported and represented, and so she was very excited. That's very personal, the way you said that. Do you feel? Do you have something? You I was talking to about RuPaul's Drag Race and the racism. Oh right. Oh oh. Right. I, I was excited to see Jade I was so excited to see her. And, you know, if you're, if you're not really following her, you absolutely should. She works her ass off in Nashville and has a very successful career. She's friends career. with Taylor Swift, for crying out loud. Yeah. Well, Red. that's why when she walked Red. in, I November was 19th. like, what are you doing here? I was thinking, Legally. like, Red. well, obviously, Taylor Swift is releasing a Halloween album. <gasps> so she has to show oh, that she can do that. Oh, would that be so funny? That'd be, oh, she'd go, oh, my spooky ghost, you don't love you don't me. Love Anymore. Yeah, you don't I'm often a see a ghost in a cardigan. This and pumpkin's filled the with boy he squashed it my has a pumpkin. broken heart in my car of pumpkins. Get up and I drive off this hill. Trick talk. Trick or treat. Trick I mean. talk. I love her drag. I think Jade Jolie's drag. <laughs> Taylor <think> Swift's drag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I love her. Drag. I have always loved because she does kind of get into cosplay, but like reinterpretations of cosplay. She's also, and I've always loved that. She's very good at drag, and she's also. I'm sorry to say it. Oh, you like the look? I think she's aging very well. I like this kind of Nashville bro -y thing we got going on. I'm just well, gonna you know what say else I, like? I liked her ready to, I like her first things out of her mouth. I'm so excited to meet y'all. I've been so treated well by all the Dragula girls. I'm excited yes. to be one. Just like, it would be very easy of her to come in and say, I've already been on a show. Fuck all y'all. I'm here to beat you all to, to the death to or death whatever. beat you with my wig. Mm -hmm. Beat you with my, my wig. The new and Taylor my Swift album coming out with pumpkins. Ooh, and gets. Next up is Hoso Terra Toma. Incredible makeup skills. Adorable out of drag. Can't wait to see. I think we're gonna get more into that. What she's known, what she knows, and is doing is Drag Yokai, which is Eastern Monsters. Forgive me if I mispronounce that, but I'm excited. You know who else I'm excited for? Say it with me. Oh, Sigourney, Sigourney Beaver! Hometown oh hero. My God, this is so exciting. Yeah, stunning aesthetics, on point, really, really sweet. Okay, I told you I had two shame stories. Yeah. Do you want to tell anyone to hear the first one? Oh, you want me to tell a shame story? No, no, no. I'll tell, oh, you okay. want to hear the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very simple. Sigourney is very, very sweet, and in the beginnings very. of my sewing journey, she saw something I made for someone, was like, hey, will you make me one? And I said, yes. And then it took me fully a year to finish making it. And she was so sweet the whole time. She never was like... That's Sigourney, though. I've always really loved her because she comes from a burlesque background. Mm. And I feel like burlesque and drag are super lobster claws, hand in hand. Uh, have you seen because that movie, just, The Lobster? You know what? Can I tell you? I've never have. seen it. I have. Want to. 
Oh, I don't want to. Have you seen her? Yes, I've seen I her. I like that one. Because he falls in love with the computer. I can't believe you've seen these movies and you've never seen Jurassic Park or Twister. Okay, I only saw her because I was in Baltimore for my fiance's. For the her festival. <laughs> for all the hers wandering around. It's a very pro pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Curtis's sister's second wedding. I didn't need to say that publicly. <laughs> Curtis's sister's wedding. Wait, doesn't she and I have the same birthday? I don't know your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your birthday either. It's fine. All right. Do you Let's know the go. month? July. And your month is very easy, and I know it. Can yeah. I get two guesses? October? No. Easy to write because it has the least amount of letters. May. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Didn't I say that? Do you know what day? Mine's the easiest to remember. Oh, my God. I know. I don't remember yours either. It's fine. We don't have to do this. First? Yeah. Yeah. Tw and mine? 24th? Damn it, 25th. That's really close. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We're sisters. We're twins. We're... No, you knew way more than me. <laughs> that means that you're the younger sister. I'm the cool well, sister. Well, it's okay. All right. But we're here to talk about Sigourney Beaver, oh, who yeah, we're sorry. very excited and support vocally biased. Very excited. Very, very, very biased. Very excited. She looked that in, waist. She looked really she cute. She walked with that tiny little waist, and she walked with her big old titties. And then she, uh, who said, oh, titty bib, as soon as she walked in, she was like, and she just kind of ignored them and moved on to Sarah. I think Mary. I think yeah. it was Mary Cherry. She's like, oh, titty bib. And, and then, then Sarah's like, at mm. Chicago. Yeah. I, I'm glad they have, I'm glad Chicago, uh, yeah. Yes. Have I a have little that. friend there. Yeah. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is our mask queen, which is very timely. Very mask for mask. It's so important. That so it's just a preference. We've had masks before. We've had one mask before and it didn't Yoska. go to everyone's liking. My, very much my liking. Oh no, Yoska was, yes, Yoska was masks, but I was thinking of full facial coverage. Yes. I know who you're talking about she did she there was just there's some yeah. issues yeah yeah um but Yoska I can't remember her name did it really well oh we love Yoska we love Yoska we I, I wish she would have stayed longer same didn't Yoska wasn't she the one that got the tattoo as part of the extermination and still got eliminated I think so ah no that might have been our next queen which is Saint hot hot and gorgeous both in and out of drag yeah it is respectfully so yes. intimidating yeah they're a very attractive cast i'm gonna go ahead and say oh absolutely 100 um, happy that saint is back obsessed yes one resurrection which was kind of the covid special the the give us a that little was something fun. it was I really, really sweet. fun time with you know that. what i thought watching this because i would never do dragula i could never. no could never but wouldn't it be fun if they did another special but they invited non-spooky queens to come and compete in just like one episode just to see how we how we would do because i would do a one-off Oh, like super campy queens coming in to try like and campier be spooky. glamour trying to be spooky. Oh, that's funny. And just to try and see how it would do. But then, but then they got to I the think end we're seeing and the that. extermination I think we're seeing challenge. That right now with Jade Jolie, I could be honest with you. We'll get to it. Well, I think Jade covers a lot of her ground. Body. Ground. Oh, they go through a haunted house. There's a full get in lockers and then. <gasps> could you okay, do? That's do you the like thing. haunted house? No. No. Even I tried so hard to get us in a haunted house last year. Nope. Two years ago, I mean. No, I don't think I would do well. I don't think I don't think it's fun. I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy being scared. I don't like when people could jump out at me, okay? You know, I don't even like being around people when they're just not moving. But then to have someone coming moving towards me, uh-uh. And you have to pay for it? I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? You're getting a call? It's my volleyball team. Our captain says he's sorry he can't be there. Remember to talk to each other on the court. Back up from the net if you're not blocking your third hit. And most importantly, have fun. Thank you. When they said you have to survive the haunted house, I was like, this is so silly. Like, no one's going to not survive it. But then they immediately had to get into little coffins and it filled with smoke. Uh, and then they dropped. Bye. Did you see them drop? And then they dropped. Well, the drop, I think, would be the easiest part. If you lock me in a coffin, I'm out. I would have seen those and gone, mm mm. I would not make it that far. Those would, are like lockers. Yeah, I would do it. I oh. think that's fun. The car thing is really scary. Are you not claustrophobic? I am, but I also love to just like kind of adapt to my throne sure. I believe the car thing would have been very scary in real life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even sitting behind a barrier, that is scary. But I don't know that it translated really well on TV. No, but Because you once know we what? saw the barrier, I was like, oh, okay. Well, the, Mary, the stakes are very low for us. <laughs> Mary Terry tried to make it really good by giving, like, mm -hmm. egging it on. And then they had to do, you know, the other, what else did they have the to do? The flippity-dippity room. 
the flip oh the yeah room. sigourney got that hit was, hard that yeah, would be did. scary if you didn't know what was going on that was really scary in general like the both i think the entire thing i don't know that it necessarily read as scary on tv but it's fun to watch right right but i'm just saying like the entire thing would have terrified the shit out of me the um the person. room that spinny dippied Oh, like with the singing guy? in the rain? No. Oh. Uh, the guys that were in there to, mm. like, mess with you? Hot. Okay, that's the problem with I me in haunted houses. You're well, horny? You're too horny for a haunted house? Well, I'm all, I'm secretly, like... Horny. Who's gonna, like, fall in love with me? But I can't see what their faces look like. They're fine. It's like love is blind, you I know? No, I, I told you I didn't watch that. We should do drag is blind. <laughs> we should do drag that's is blind. how I describe your drag. <laughs> When people ask me, like, well, how would you describe Alexis? Except not tonight. Tonight you're Bailey, and Bailey is, she's perfect. I should dress like your faves more often. Yeah. Do Aaron next. Then they get their, they get back to the room. The Blaze <laughs> are there. The Blaze said, welcome. Now you're officially in the competition. The Blaze are not there. They're and, on TV. Well, on the TV, and they say yeah. you're officially in the competition. And the main challenge is remake of a horror movie Icon movie, TV, movie, video TV, game, video whatever games, you want, whatever you want, yeah. just a remake. And they said specifically, they don't want to see cosplay; they want to see a reimagining. And Dracula, they they like gross, they like scary, they like gross out kind of stuff. So you know there has to be some sort of that element as well. Yeah, remember Long Room? It's completely the boudoir. It's completely redone now. It looks beautiful. The workroom. Remember how they had just the room? You would just call it yes, long, long, long table room. Long table room. Yeah, I do remember. That. That major upgrade. And then they just roll the cameras for about 40 minutes and let them talk to <laughs> each other. Very true. That was very long. And I loved it. See, this is why I think there's no production. I think they just say, okay, get in there and say whatever. It's gonna, I think they put, okay, I but agree I and I disagree. It. I do think there's producing, but I think it is saved for the really difficult, like, challenges. Yeah. And then they're just so busy trying to make sure people don't die underground that they're like, okay, now we're just gonna roll for the next three hours. So you guys all just talk. You all just talk and we'll find something. And everyone's, I, I feel like everyone feels pressured to, like, be, get, mm -hmm. get their jokes in, get their quip, their sassiness in. Well, there was one person in particular. Which who is, just stay with me, la Zabaleta. Going. Yeah, yeah. And, and. Bitter Betty said, I'm not like offended by what they're saying because I view them more as like young and immature. Immature. Insecure. Insecure. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of funny coming from her after like her Twitter stuff. It's like also there was like an insecurity, I think, in her language. <gasps> Boop. No, no, no. That's not a, that's not like a dunk. You okay. just you just dunked hard. No, that is not a dunk. I yes, adore you her. Did. I just think I think that's something we do a lot as people is we recognize in others what we can't see in ourselves. <gasps> That's why you hate Veronica Green. That is so offensive to me. <laughs> I'm so, you know, I've never, I, I haven't talked to Avi since. Avi. <laughs> I saw Avi in real life and I, I still just pretend like I didn't see her. I was like, I'm just kidding. I love Avi, but that was really fucked up. That was a real fucked <laughs> it, was thing to it was my favorite. It was just a lot of her just kind of shitting on everyone else and it was not Betty. Uh, that is ever like that. Yes. It was just, it was a lot. It was extra. It was a lot. It was, it was a lot. I also didn't love when she was super rude to Sigourney out of nowhere and they cut to Sigourney's talking head and she's like, yeah, even when she's being nice, she's not nice. But also I guess there's something Betty to being be able said. to identify it as immature. It's like she's able to be like, yeah, no, I, I get what that is. But Sigourney? Yeah. What? Wait, there's two bags of ruffles. Well, those are the ones I'm eating currently and those are my backup. Do you know what I heard on a podcast today? Some people eat chips with chopsticks so they don't get their d the dust on their hands, on their fingers. And it feels so chic. That's brilliant. You, you know who said that to me? That's absolutely You brilliant. know who said that to me? No. Via podcast? Bone Yang. Bone um, Yang knows that. Someone that. saw the ladies in the uh, wardrobe because they can't get dust on their fingers. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. You know who I got a podcast recommendation from that is, it's the female Bowen Yang and Matt Rogers. You ready for this? Poog. Poog. I started listening because you recommended it Because to me. they are also very, like, cosmopolitan, hilarious comedian ladies. Yeah. And they talk about skincare and expensive hotels. So I listened to one episode. I gotta listen to more because, honestly... It's brilliant. Here's what I like about Las Culturistas. When they're telling a story, it's wrapped up quickly. And no, it seems like this. they do one story for the whole thing. And, and yes. the other one, I love her, but she likes to stop and and get details about things but to me that's stunting the story i love that i, I love it because it do. sounds like 
No, that's true. Chopsticks. Oh, okay. So this past week, do you want to know this? Yeah. It was my 10 year anniversary with Curtis. Oh my God. We've been together for 10 fucking years. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh my God, is that, that must have been so romantic and cute. No, after 10 years, I woke up that morning. He came out of the room with his morning boner, as he always does. Goes to take his antidepressants, as he always does. And I was like, hey, babe. And he's like, hey. <laughs> boners and he goes, happy anniversary. And I was like, oh yeah, you too. I was like, are we doing anything tonight? And he's like, I got like gift certificates to the restaurant I work at so we could like eat free sushi. And I was like, okay. So I just like met him at the restaurant he fucking works at and we ate sushi while he talked to his coworkers. <laughs> like that was our, that was our anniversary dinner. Oh my God. But that's, you know I what, think, but that, you know what we that's did for our 10 years? Who? Me and Philip. Philip. Philippe, sorry. I always do that. Believe. Okay. Well, when was for our ten with this person? Huh? That's real? It was a couple years ago. So we don't. Oh. We're not together anymore. Obviously, we got right. divorced. You, you said ten years. You're out. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you get. Because he was a. He was. He had tenure. He was a professor, and he had to move. <laughs> and that I didn't want to. I didn't yeah. want to move. No, of course not. I you're didn't want to move. I wanted to stay yourself. here. You know, I had just you, met you and Curtis. Well, and you've been and hoarding that apartment for years. You, you can't hoard somewhere else. No, and now I can't get into it because I've hoarded so much. It's right. just fabric. Yeah. Right. yeah. Which is we did. No, but you know what we did? What? Car Horse-drawn carriage. Right. Through the Adirondacks. <laughs> 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 Oh, wait, I'm gonna throw up. Hang on. <laughs> that was really funny. Fuck you. <laughs> A horse drawn carriage to the Adirondacks. Let's just get into the, the main challenge, shall yes. we? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to say we have some amazing. Oh my god, the guest judges. Yeah. Uh, Fuck off. Yeah. Love. Tana Reeve Du and Darren Stein, who is a returning judge. So Stunning. Tana Ray. Tana I think. Tana I'm Please. sorry. I'm so sorry. If we're no, that's okay. We, we're drunk. They know that. She is a like a historian, like a horror historian, which I fucking love. I love that. Yeah. I love when they pull people in who may not be exactly who you go to for like a drag competition, well, but then they are very connected to the history of what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, and that's another Brilliant. thing I love about the show is I have no fucking clue what criteria it means good and bad. Like, I'll be like, seems after like we do. watch it, they know they definitely yeah. do. That's why it's so good. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to talk about the judges, but let's talk about the boulets. So oh. We got the big one, we got the little one, Stunning. and they always look incredible. They always um, do. There's not a moment that you see a boulet on screen where you're like, ugh. Lately, the last two couple of seasons. Yeah, stunning. The first two, I was very busy. I had, you know, I was going through that divorce, her divorce with Philippe. I had to help her out of the Adirondacks. <laughs> Well, that's what caused it. I did love their dresses, though. Yeah, they looked great. Okay, let's start with Hoso Teratoma. She decided to go for other mother from Coraline. You seen Coraline? Love Coraline. Love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why'd you do that when I, I said I was going to get mad about Jurassic Park again, but we've already done that. Okay, well, hang on. I'll change my answer. Ask me again. You seen Coraline? Fuck you! Oh! <laughs> no, I love Coraline. Terry Hatcher, get out. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Talk about a judge. Get, get a Terry moment. Hatcher as a judge on Coraline one of these shows. was a moment in time because that was Terry Hatcher's resurgence. And she really, yes. she flew very close to the sun. And now I think she's just kind of hanging out. With Clark Kent. Mm hmm Okay. Well, I think he's Republican. So other mother, she did mm. buttons. She took the, Loved. the, the, the bug brilliant. stuff. Brilliant. I mean, the makeup is so cool. It was all brilliant. And the, the look, it did look, because the other, the thing about other mother, especially because I, I think it's growing more as a, as a costume for some drag queens. But the thing about this that I think the, the cartoon did well is the weird proportions and like the mm -hmm. weird dangly. Her titties. Loved it. Yeah. Cone titties. Yeah. Great. Honey. Honey. Yeah. I want to dip them in chocolate and eat some Rocky Road out of those things. Out of them? Okay, <gasps> Jay Jolie. She took Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. Now I did see this, I knew, immediately knew it was. I wouldn't say she's a horror movie icon, but she is an icon. What did you ever think about this? I talk too much. No, you, you do. I went back and forth on this. The minute she walked out, I hated it. Cause first of all, Sanderson sisters, very overdone. And then she ate maggots, which she, like, LOL. She did eat maggots, she's got weird hands. Yeah, so, but can I say, I think that was Jay Jolie's, okay, I'm reading very much into this. I understand that. It is very Jay Jolie, right? The Taylor Swift girl. She comes out in this very feminine 
overdone kind of thing. I mean, it and then cool. she turns it on its head. She's like, this is what you expect from me, right? This is what you expect from me. And then she eats maggots. And then as she starts to eat maggots, you see how dirty her hands are and how fucked up her teeth are. I got it. Yeah. I thought it was a great intro to J. Jolie. I, I want horror, maybe, more from her. And maybe Hocus I'm Pocus worried. is a horror movie for children. Or for Actually, people who just Actually, it totally is because it's movies. so fun. Well, that cat does get run over. It comes right back to life. That's horrifying. Oh, that when cat, I kill a cat, I want to jet. Zachary Binks. Okay. When I, I was, jet. when I was young. <gasps> oh, can I tell Zachary you a funny Binks? story? Can I tell you a funny story? Please. We went to Ruffles, the new Utica Aurora Gosnick party at Berlin last Stunning. weekend. Stunning. And we saw Valentine there. I don't yeah. know if you did. Did you talk to Valentine about where she was going to be this weekend? No. Okay. She's like, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to my brother's gender reveal party. She's like, no, I know. Gender reveal. It's not great. But they're very big Hocus Pocus fans. So it's a Hocus Pocus themed gender reveal party. So if it would... And I turned to Valentine's partner. Her partner was like, yeah, that's the only reason we agreed to go because we just need to see what this is going to be. <laughs> I was like, is I Is it going to be something like if it's... Like, if it's a boy, it's Thackeray Binks. If it's a girl, it's Thor Birch. Yeah, like, if the baby has a dick, it's gonna be, like, a, a blue smoke or whatever. Or, or, or like, a Black cauldron. flame candle. Maybe it's... Oh, is it, is it a black flame candle? A, and if the flame giant, is red, vagina, it's one. If it's black, it's, it's one. vagina. Yeah. I thought it would be better. Okay, hear me out. Billy, right? Billy's the one that they buried his mouth. Billy zombie. Yeah, yeah his hot, mouth is so hot. Shut. He's shape of water too. Yes, 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 yes. I think it'd be funny if they had hired a Billy, right? They filled Billy's mouth with jello, either blue or pink jello. Or the butterfly, they... the moths. Remember the moths that fly out of his mouth? Hang on, let me take it back. Billy, right? Yeah, zombie. It'd be funny if they filled his mouth with live moths. <laughs> <gasps> dyed blue or pink. And then they taped his mouth shut and put little like things over it to make it look like it was sewn shut. And the entire party, this person, had to walk Stands around the corner. Oh. with live moths in his mouth. And then at the very end of the party when they do the gender reveal, they cut open his mouth and you see whatever dead moth falls out. That's the baby's Yeah, penis and then he says, vagina. congratulations, mother. You're having a vagina. But just to make sure it's a real gender reveal party, we will light a forest on fire. Absolutely. Um, and pray about it. Speaking of on fire, it is a saint doing a take on leather face. Loved. Leather apron, leather titty. Look at those legs. Loved. Yeah, legs, but also look at the, 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 the makeup and the mask. The mask looked like a baby And the one, loved it. one titty. Loved. Cool. Scary, scary even. Astrid Aurelia. What is the word she is saying? Xenomorph? Alien. She was from Alien. No, right? I know, but she said it, it was a word. Xenomorph, I think. Oh, xenophobia. That is, that's scary. Sh I've never seen Alien. Evie, you know what? I haven't either. Should we watch on? Wait, you shit on me all the time because of your well, IBS. you ask me to. But also because I've never seen like Jurassic Park or Jaws or whatever. Those are classics. Turn Alien classic is movie. a classic. Okay, I have seen Do Alien. Do not make me get mad about Alien. I have seen Alien, but I don't remember Wait, it. Wait, I just, you just said you didn't. You're lying. I'm, so I'm entering my new phase where I lie about everything. Okay, okay, cool. Let me ask you, how was your day? It was great. That is a lie. <laughs> She is an alien. She that made this tail out of EVA foam. Took the, took the goddamn helmet off. Helmet and that off. Cool. Crazy makeup crazy. and emo hair. I was obsessed. Loved. Really cool. 10 out of 10. And a claw coming out the front. <laughs> Which is where you want it to come out. Okay. Sigourney Beaver. Speaking of alien, Sigourney Weaver to Sigourney Beaver. It's Sigourney Beaver coming out in very clear. I mean, this this hair gives you Bride of Frankenstein, honestly. And then so she comes out. Okay, can I ask you this before the reveal? I I apologize. When she came out and she had on that gorgeous dress and the hair, and she just kept kind of moving and posing. Were you afraid? Were you nervous that that's where the costume would end? I was. I got so scared. I was too, and then I remembered that she's Scorny Beaver. And that she's a burlesque it's person. Also, just excellence Brilliant. revealed into this gold. Ugh. Did you notice what was on the titties? Studs. Bolts, like bolts. Frankenstein's bolts coming up the side Very of his head. Sad. But that's that's something a stud would do. Listen, this is this is just coming from a costume designer myself. Those titties are magic. 
she is so aware of her body shape and how to accentuate everything. Her arms, they did like a slow motion and she started to kind of like move her chest and move her arms. Even the way she moves her arms, she is well aware of every movement she makes. She's it's excellent. Brilliant. And that is, I agree with you 100%. And Thank I think that you. all comes from a life of in burlesque. Like the burlesque dancers are so amazing at feeling the music and knowing their well, bodies. Well, we've all seen burlesque starring Cher and Christina. No, Cara. I meant real good burlesque. Okay, so you haven't seen Burlesque the movie then, because otherwise you no, I have seen that. that so. No, I have seen that. Because I mean, Christina Aguilera. I have so. seen that. Cam Gigantic. Why did it, what is? He must be an asshole because he never worked again. Who? The guy. The Yellow Ranger died in a car accident. Well, yeah, that's that's tragic. Mary Cherry as the Pillsbury Doughboy. No, 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 no. Are you joking? As, as Marshmallow Puff, Stay Puff, what is his name? The Marshmallow Puff guy from Ghostbusters. The yeah. monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This made me laugh really hard. Instantly iconic and recognizable. Immediately loved it. It was so camp. She was safe and she, her talking head, she was like, yeah, I was safe. But you know, I really thought I should have been in the top because I was camp. And I was like, girl, wrong show, bitch. <laughs> but it wasn't my favorite, I will say. I didn't no. understand why we could see her knees. The costume just had a lot of disconnected parts. But the idea and the movement she had and kind of shooting marshmallows out of her mouth, I thought that was hilarious. Next up is La Zavaleta, who is from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, I've never and seen And the main that. thing was the eyes, but we I didn't... I, she didn't really focus. I didn't ever see that. Well, she sat in the room as she was doing it, because that's one of my other favorite Dragula tropes. They make all of their costumes at home. Oh, and then they, they have leave to... one thing undone so they can do it in the workroom, which I adore. I'm hoping, praying, maybe it was taken out in the edit? To kind of make it more... Well, we learned later that there's, there's a couple things went wrong with went her wrong presentation, with yeah. which is another but reason... But I agree. I was waiting for the eyes and I didn't see them. I thought it was gross, though. It's all goopy. I didn't... Uh, but... but it's not recognizable instantly. Just in general, the costume even had the gag worked. It... Oh, she got an eye out of her mouth. Yeah, to me, it just didn't... It didn't do a lot for me. Yeah. I'll say that. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde did the saw puppet with the, but like a nurse take on it. Have you ever seen any of the saws? Mm hmm. You seen the one where they throw them in a pit of needles? No, I love that though. I'd love to see that happen. That one has, I don't know if this is saw actually, but that one has, um, a snuff the, film. The girl from, no, the girl from Seventh Heaven. Not the youngest, not the old Jessica Biel, but the middle one. I'd Adorable. watch that scene. Do you want to watch that right now? Let's yeah. do it. No, I can't. I can't take that on right now. I've already come. Um, but I, I, I here's I, the deal. <laughs> I very much disagree with the whole. You have a mask. You suck. We don't. Yeah, we I'm. Do I, it. I'm excited to see more masks because this is like this mask was gorgeous. The mask and was the way not that it was applied. Issue. Yeah, it was truly just there was nothing else going on. It was a fine costume, but then she had on the club kid shoes and the shake and go. It was all just very new drag and. And then we have Miss Coco Kane. Uh, Coco Kane doing this crazy take on Morticia. I can't talk. Stunning. Stunning. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Those tits, the proportions were insane. Everything worked really well. And then she pours the blood from the flower into her mouth. That came out of nowhere. <sighs> like a slutty bloody bee. Yeah, like a slutty bloody bee. I loved it. And then Bitter Betty is Elvira. Elvira but lesbian. Demon Elvira. She's a lesbian. She is a lesbian. We found that out. I thought these teeth and the makeup were so creepy. So scary, yeah. That I thought she was going to be in the top until they explained their reasons why. But that's Did the thing. really? Yeah, because I thought the teeth was so scary. I was waiting for something to happen. Well, I don't know. I think Dracula, J. Jolie included. I think, great, I'm glad you ate those maggots, but like, you gotta bring more. You can't eat maggots every time, or you can't just show up on stage with like something pretty that we'd want a picture with at a bar. But throw in an ugly teeth, yeah. She it did, looks I, great. I, she looks great. But... It did feel very like, when they said it, I was like, oh yeah, it's like we could see this in any. Mm -hmm. Those are the ghouls. What a great start to the season with that runway though. I feel like we yeah. immediately and knew who they were. 
Yes, and blessings to the upgrades for the show because I feel like more this season than seasons past, I really saw their outfits and I really saw who mm -hmm. they were mm -hmm. and I got their names because in, in the past, I feel like it went too quick and it was way artistic. too artistic. Yeah. And, we know, hate artists. Oh my gosh. But yeah. like, you know, it is very important. So, because... Uh, and that's how we use it in economies, you know? I actually did just listen to a podcast. Never mind, it's about art. So we find out our safe, spooky, ooky monsters. What are they called? Monsters. Monsters. Ghouls. Our safest ghouls are Mary, Jade, and Saint. I didn't um, think Saint was safe. No, I loved Saint. Yeah, Wait, what do you too. mean? I didn't think she was safe. I thought she was good. I thought she oh, was top. Yes, 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 yes. But that's the thing with safe is because we all want to be safe, but you can't be safe forever. You can't, that's a new Taylor Swift song for her Halloween album. You can't be safe forever. In my car I'm filled running with pumpkins. After you. I'm gonna I need some slit gas, your throat but I can't and then I'm gonna I spent make all my a money on pumpkins. And then we find out the tops. Hoso, Astrid, Coco, and Sigourney. So excited to see Sigourney up there. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It felt good. As a Chicagoan, watching a show that I love and seeing Chicago representation kill it. Also, can I say this? During the judging, the little boule was horny. The little boule kept telling people how, like, sexual everything was. And I was like, was it? I think that's in poor taste. But the winner is Astrid and Astrid Aurelia. Well deserved, truly. That look yeah, was really cool. And they outrageous. really got, they really went in for it. And I also just love to Dragula in general. Like them talking for eight hours in the long table room. It is a little raw. It is is a little more real because she won and she starts screaming and she's excited and you hear her like voice echoing throughout the room. And everyone else is almost to the point where everyone else is almost kind of like, okay, shut up. I know. I fucking loved that though. And then unfortunately. Unfortunately, our lows were Lizavaletta, Bitter Betty, and Formaldehyde. Yeah, which is interesting because when they were doing long table room talk, mm -hmm. Mary said, I think y'all are going to be in the bottom based on first appearances. Yeah, I did actually like that Lizavaletta was talking major shit in that room and then she ends up being in the bottom yeah. with the person she was shitting on. That was kind of fun. The most. Yeah. yeah. To me, for me, Pot of Me, Spooky Me, I do have to say, I think. I think that had something to do with the fact that Betty was the clear safe person because it, it just was such good TV to see these two people going against each other. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't even say they were going against each other. I would say Zavaleta was going against Formaldo. Right. Formaldo was Formaldo just, kind, was just of kind of like, sitting there like yeah. stop being mean. Yeah. So well, we, they did have kind of an untucked, I think they called it the cauldron. So they go into the cauldron and they do, they do like um, spells. Everyone was pretty chill except for... Except for LZ. And what'd you call her? LZ La Zavaleta. That's cute. Is that cute? I like that. Okay. I don't know if she likes it, but that's okay. She She's probably doesn't underground. like it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Astrid was like, how are you feeling? How do you think I'm feeling? Like freaking the fuck out. And I'm just like, Ooh! you are awful. I'm sorry. I have a really hard time. Oh, we did talk about when they were judging La Zavaleta's outfit. They, they said, now you made us wait forever. And I love that. It's kind of breaking the fourth wall, like mm -hmm. judging things that we don't necessarily see right away and then explaining it to us is like, yeah. okay, I love this show. Because it's also too though, I, I think more so than we see on other shows. And they said it in the long table room discussion. This is not just about looks. It is about your performance. The runway is way more it's, than what we're used to seeing in other shows. It's drag, horror, filth, filth. glamour. Mm-hmm, I've heard that on our TikTok, whatever. And then she like leaves the room and she's like, fuck, I'm gonna have to face my fear because the last time I was in a cemetery, I was burying my sister, which is awful. Like awful, I'm so sorry that you had to like relive that. But I also had the thought of like, yeah, all of us the last time we were in a cemetery was a, a bad thing. Yeah, we've all been there. But oh, again, I think me. that's the young kind of immature, what do you mean? So, you know how I said for my 10th anniversary, me and Philippe did a horse-drawn carriage to the Adirondacks. For our 10 year divorce anniversary, we did a horse-drawn carriage through a cemetery. And it was really beautiful though, because it was kind of like the death of our marriage is fully buried and finally corpsed. And 
I want to bury you alive. Also, I don't know if y'all remember, in the long table room earlier, she had turned to Astrid and was like, why were you acting so crazy about the fucking car coming at us? This is all about facing your fears. And then she's like, I was in a really serious car accident mm. that was like life threatening. And that just kind of took me back there. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know that. But you have to face your fears. This is all about facing your fears. Which and is then like... cut to the end of the episode. And she's like, I can't believe I have to face my fears. I can't believe I have to go. <laughs> I was just like, that's what you, you just, that's, I'm sorry, Betty had it right. That is, it's just everything, all of the behavior was, it read as very young you know what and it, immature. You know what it that's reminded all. me of? Like, Been there. You know what, I'm not saying it like I have clean hands. Okay, I don't no, wash my hands. your hands are very dirty, like J. Jolie. Because I'm trying to prove that you don't need a vaccine or to wash your hands. Or your legs. Safe. Well, I did lose those due to COVID, but that was a whole other issue. COVID is the name of my... Mack truck. We now have to see the extermination, the extermination which is being buried. Buried alive and the longer you're in, it's whoever lasts longest. And then taking into account also your performance on the show. So it is, it is kind of. Yeah, and they time. go by points, which I love. Yeah. So it truly was, had someone tapped out, then the other person automatically would have won. However, they both survived. Now the, the whole thing was, okay. they were going to be buried six feet. I don't think that was the case because we never saw them. Well, maybe it was six feet metric. I think it was six feet like they were in a hole, but I don't think they were buried a lot. No, there was some, there they, was some. They screwed you know in the top of me? the coffin. The, the scariest part is screwing the hole into the coffin, I think, because what if, yeah, what if you don't know? And then, I so mean, then the most that would happen in, is that you'd have a panic attack and you pass out. They you put in die. crickets. The crickets I thought were like gross, right? Mm. Then they waterboarded them. Okay, but what if it was like which pee? like what USA USA were very into that. What if it was pee? I was hoping it was like water that smelled like gasoline. Wouldn't that be scary? Oh, that would be terrifying. Or maple syrup. They're shoving so much water at your face all at once. You can't see. It's all disorienting. It feels like you're drowning, which is what I think they were trying to do. Well, because whatever it was, Cheney, it wasn't water that. boring. Okay. And then they did maggots. And I wonder if these are the same maggots that J. Jolie ate. She had to, she actually had to. She mother birded. She had to Mother because them they and into the hole. Well, she took them off the prop table, and she was not supposed to. Ooh, maybe we can have like do you remember like dirt cakes with like gummy worms. I fucking maybe love dirt we can cake. have like that for bang for this. I love dirt cake. Oh, I love that idea. Ooh, Don't forget that. Cake. I love dirt cake. Okay, Clint, uh, Curtis, Clint. <laughs> Oh, Clint. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Is that <laughs> fuck the big picture, Clint? Remember, remember no, when Madeline Hatter yeah, said that. That's my favorite thing anyone's ever said of all time. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. They both survived, which is very scary to me. I would not have survived. I would have died immediately. Yeah, I, I did think they were going to like truly leave them there and see who lasted the longest, but it... Or they, keep putting more bugs in. I was kind of like, wait, don't y'all have more bugs? Yeah, I, I was or scared spiders. they were going to do snakes. If you put a spider in there, I'd be out. I'd be out. I'd be totally done. You wouldn't know what it was, though. I can tell because I... I studied Your sense of smell. I have the Discovery Channel. I've told you that. So... So they get out. They get out They're and they run. They're running through the woods. Yeah, they run. Run you out of the woods. Run in, get out you out, out of the woods. Get out you out of the woods. And then... One of them dies. Those masks that come from the beginning. Remember those yeah, masks? Mm -hmm. They come and they reveal and they're them. They okay. came, they come they in, come, they take and, them they, off and they're them. And they, okay. I was wondering if they were going to tell them. us who, but they did. They did. They actually did. They always From do. Melda. But I was wondering since it's like premiere, like stay and watch the second episode or whatever to find out who. Why did you say it like that? Because uh, it's that's like the how 1930s. Philippe talked. Yeah, he was. Oh. In, he would. He, he sidebarred as a. He moonlighted as an uh, old time radio host. An old. You know time how radio. Yeah. you know how they yeah, do yeah. like Little House on the Prairie or whatever Prairie Home Companion. Mm, he mm -hmm. would do like. Um, that we are so sorry to see you go for Maldahide for Maldahide. because I really wanted to see more of the masks. I thought the masks were great. Thank you so much for joining us for this ooky spooky episode of Dragula. <laughs> we are so excited to be back with another season and cannot wait to see Sigourney Beaver just hit everyone with her tits. That's yeah. that's the dream. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that subscribe button below because we have three episodes coming out weekly now. <sighs> Sorry, we just have to breathe through it. We have to breathe through it. Yeah. And hit that little notification button so your phone goes, hey, these queers did something. And you go, oh, wait, really? Why did I sign up for this? And if you'd like to see exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, you can join us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash show. 
Yes, that is correct. And if you'd like to hire us for a little cameo, if you want to say, Mom, I'm gay, just send her a cameo from us and we'll go, hey, you know what this is about, and then she'll immediately understand. She'll cry for a while, but she will absolutely be okay with it after a couple years with her own God and dealing with that. So you can go to cameo and hire us for that. Or you can get a double cameo, which is what? known as a shamio. It's oh a little God. video message from the both of us. Using our background and everything? And everything. Wow. And that is over at our website, imhotheshow.com where we have merch and other things. And hey, and if you, our editing team is working tirelessly to get these videos out. So if you'd mm. like to send a little love monetarily, you can do so Venmoing us at IMHO the show. That's me. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I help. I'm so tired. We'll see you in a couple days. And probably. fuck the big picture, Clint. And fuck all, fuck Clint. Clint Eastwood, like, he's not great, right? No. Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. And welcome back. I'm Auntie Boulet. That is a good single Boulet brother. Why, thank you. <laughs> Hello, uglies. Welcome back. I'm proud to see that you survived another week. <laughs> Glamour. <laughs> Can you get my mouth? Yeah, you're Just okay. zoom in on my mouth. Glamour. Film. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Horror. Yay, scary. You okay? It's just cutting That's off it. your bullet. Oh, okay. Glamour. There you go. There you go. Film. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies.